we've been in some con conversations and deep consultations between the management but also the board members who are present here today uh, following the very unfortunate incident which happened uh, in this hospital on the 19th and to which I have already visited uh, the patients, the two patients where there was um, an issue of a mix-up and we have as ministry made a decision and have directed the board accordingly. The decision being that one, it is true there was a mix-up of the identities of two patients and unfortunately one of the patients who ought not to have gone through surgery did actually go through surgery. I have seen the patient. He is stable. The doctors tell me he could be discharged on Monday. I have also visited the second patient who is the one who was said to go for surgery. And fortunately, fortunately, the second patient is stable. He didn't go through surgery. He's been put on treatment. He's under watch and he's also stable. Both patients I have learned did not have the health insurance uh, as it were, which would be expected. So I'm pleased uh, to announce that I have enrolled them to NHIF this afternoon and that the bills, the medical bills uh, going forward uh, will be catered by the fund. I want to take this very early opportunity to apologize to the patients I also want to take this opportunity to apologize to the families and the friends of these two patients, particularly the one who went through the operation, and regret that we will have to move in and put systems so that we don't have to see a repeat of this uh, going forward. I have directed the board accordingly uh, to put in using an external third party audit firm, a quick investigation to audit the systems in respect of patient safety, also following what we had of uh, a matter which involved a child two weeks ago. I will be expecting the board comes into a consultation tomorrow, the entire board tomorrow morning, and advise me on the timelines that they'll be taking to report back to the ministry. In any case, we've agreed the investigation should be done on an emergency basis and I will be expecting preliminary findings from the board chairman and his board by before the end of the coming week. Father, I have directed the board through the chair that the CEO of this organization with the colleague responsible for clinical matters of this hospital are sent on compulsory leave forthwith and in their place two experts will be taken over to run this institution for the period the investigations will be done and a decision will be reached uh, following the investigations. I therefore wish to pronounce myself on this matter by appointing in acting capacity Dr. Mutie and Dr. Ongech both competent professionals who understand the systems in this hospital to take over and support the board to complete the investigations which I have directed be conducted immediately.